Hey YouTube, Sandy Frank here today doing our next part. This is part three in this 111 card TCG order from a TCG special. I don't like to usually do orders this big, but I had a bunch I wanted to get in on this, this grading special. Got all these slabs. That's the back. More Japanese vintage coming up. Lots of Pokemon. I've actually had at least four different card games of cards in this order. Which are Tower. And you can tell we're not having the greatest return because look. This is our 10s, and this is our 9s, and this is our 8s, so um, we have not been dominating with 10s. But we've got a lot of vintage Japanese stuff, so. All right, here we go. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, this one, there is a white dot there. And the centering is definitely thicker on top. Ah, the Embryon and Dark Rye. GX. Now I knew this wasn't going to get a 10. That's why I hadn't sent it in yet. Um, it's definitely off centered. These are, you can really tell if they're off centered. Um, I'm going to guess an 8. Ah, they got a 9. Nice. I don't, I don't know if I've ever gotten a 9 on one of those. Alright. Good start to this last box. Okay. Okay, definitely a white spot there. Um, I'd definitely say thicker on top, slightly. War Turtle. Oh, man, really? Yeah, this is not going to get a 10 with that white dot. This is from 151, the Illustration Rare. I mean, I have to say it's probably a 9. Yep. 9. Um, ultra modern card. Not good. But, I mean, it deserved it. There's a Sorcery Atlas card. You got a white dot there. White dot there. Oh, this is the Vesu Vesuvius. A uh, unique site. Really cool. I think it's a 9, though, with this white dots on the back. This grader is not going to let those slip. Oh, an 8. I don't know about an 8. But, okay. Those are staying in my collection anyway, so don't really matter. Um, that was a beta card, by the way. These are beta. Maybe a little bit of whiteness up there on that edge. Wither Wing Hero. This is a unique. Come on, let's get a 10. And it's a 9. And I had a little bit of whitening, so. I know sorcery cards are going to be really tough to grade. Yeah, whitening. Yeah, I see whitening on three spots on the back on those, these corners. You know, similar thing. When the cards get cut on the in the printing presses, sometimes they catch a little bit of paper there and make a little white spot. Ah, the tadpole pool pool. Tadpole pool. This is a unique site. Beta. Come on. That's nine. Yep, nine. <laughs> With all those white spots, this is not gonna get ten. Alright, this one. Now the back of that one looks really good. The Ultimate Horror. Now that one is way nicer. I'm going to say a 10 on that one. A 9. Hmm. I think that one probably deserved a 10. This one... Back looks really good. The Aroma Lady. 
This is a uh, rainbow secret rare, hyper rare, whatever you want to call these. Not a fan of the trainers in the, these uh, secret rares, but they're very hard to pull, so I went and graded it. From Evolving Skies. Um, I think it's a 10. Yep, Jim Mint 10. On the Sweet Aroma Lady. This one's definitely thick on top. Dragonite V. I mean, it looks really good on the front. Usually, they let you get by with a little bit of a back centering, so I'm gonna say a ten. An eight. This is from Pokemon Go. I don't understand how that got an eight. I really don't. I mean, to me, it was a strong 9, weak 10. And they bumped it down to an 8. That's why people get so frustrated with PSA. That's a prime example right there. Just the grades don't make sense sometimes. All right. Um, very slightly thinner on that side. Misfortune Sisters from Lost Origin. Looks like a 10. That one did get a 10. Gem at 10. This one. A little bit of a couple of little white dots there. Might come back and bite me. And it's very slightly thick on top. Ah, the Mimic U. This is uh, from the Elite Trainer Box. Really cool art there. You got grandma, they're knitting um, a blanket and you got Mimikyu sitting there like just staring at her. <laughs> uh, great art. Um, I'm gonna guess a nine though. Yeah, a nine. You can't get a couple white dots nowadays and get a 10. They just won't do it. That one looks perfect on the back. Ah, I I have definitely sent this card in more than once. Uh, I think this is the third time I've sent this in. I always get nines on it, and there's no. I've looked at this card under lights, every which way but loose, and I don't understand it. I mean, the centering looks really good. That's usually what gets you on these. And then the back is perfect. I always think this is a 10 and they keep giving it nines. But the reason I keep trying is because number one, I believe in the card. Number two, the tens are way, worth way more than the nines. And the nines are still worth a lot, but I will retry a card if I believe in it and if um, I'm 100% sure it's not going to get a worse grade because this is, to me, is a 10 all day. Boom! Ha! <sighs> After the third freaking time. I think it was the third time. Could have been the fourth time that I've tried this card. Got the 10. <sighs> Jeez Louise. That's... That's one reason I shouldn't use PSA. That should never happen. But they misgraded it two times. Okay, this one, this one looks perfect on the back. Ah, flying Pikachu. Um, these are not easy to grade. I could get a nine with that. It's a little bit thicker on the bottom. Nope, it got a 10. All right, good. Hey, we're on a little bit of a 10 roll here. This one definitely thick on top. Thicker over here. The Mew EX. Oh, man, that sucks. Because the front looks really good. 
it could still get a 10 because they they supposedly allow you a little bit of centering on the back. Ah, nine, yeah. Back centering, got it. Maybe even a little bit thick on top. That was from the Ultra, Ultra, Ultra Premium Collection of 151. Um, a promo. This one looks pretty good. I don't see any issues back there. Pikachu. This is a promo from the Paldea Evolved ETB. That looks like a 10. Ah, nine. Oh, I really wanted this in a 10. You know what? It is a little bit slightly thick on this side. Or I'm just looking at it funny. That one looks really good on the back. Tyranitar EX from Obsidian Flames. Looks like a 10. Looks like an easy 10. Yeah, that one got a 10. I don't even know why I sent that in. It's not a special illustration rare or full art or anything. Okay. This one is thicker on top. Pikachu. Reverse Hollow Pikachu. Pikachu from 151. Looks like a 10. A 9. Oh, man. Ah. Here's a Lorcana. So this is now, we had a Mezu card, Pokemon, Sorcery, Lorcana, and Magic. So we've had five different card games in this order. Looks really good on the back. Again, game card with black borders. These are going to be tough to grade and black borders on the front. It's a foil. I think this could get a 10. Call me crazy. Boom! Gem at 10. The Queen of Hearts foil. Now, this probably is not worth grading, but um, I did want to grade, see how a Lorcana card grades. A foil card, and guess what? It got the 10. I don't have much in Lorcana. Okay, so there's a white spot there, a very obvious one. The Mew EX from 151. Man, why am I sending in cards that have a white dot in the corner? Like, I get, I got a tough grader, but also I did not vent my cards as well as I should have in this order. Like this, this could very easily get a 9 because of that. Yep, PSA 9. That's just a complete mistake. And grading is not cheap like it was back in the old days, where it was $7 a card. You could just send this stuff in and not worry about it. Now, it's probably at least twice that much now. That was what I spent on these. So that was just sloppy uh, venting of my cards. I could have saved a few of these from even sending them in, but nope. I was uh, rushing it or something or didn't look at them close enough. And I'll pay the penalty on this order. There's a white dot there and a white dot there. Here dot, there dot, everywhere white dot. Ah, this is the uh, Southern Islands. Well, this was saying Southern Island promo, but I think they are. I don't know if they're all considered promos. But looks pretty good. But I'm going to say an eight. Nine. Wow, I'm very shocked that, that got an eight. I mean, that got a nine. All right, this one. We got whitening on that edge down there. And there's a little bit right there, right by that ray. The vile plume. Like, I think this is probably an eight. Yeah, that is an eight. Okay, this one, 
Oh yeah, some whitening there, whitening there. This might be another Southern Islands. Yeah, Ladyba. I can see this being eight or nine, judging by those last two. Yep, we got nine. It's a weak nine, but I'll take it. All right, this one. Okay, this one definitely has a lot more wear on the edge. Like, someone's played this before. Which, that's what they were meant to be, was played. Um... Uh, this is like a seven, I think. Yes, seven. Okay, guessed it. I shouldn't have sent it in. <coughs> okay. Um, we'll do one more. Um, I know this video is a little bit short, but there's way too many to try to cram into the end of this video. So we'll make one more part. We'll make it a four part. So this is thinner on top, thicker on the bottom. Has a little bit of a skew. Greninja V. The front looks really good, but I've been getting dinged, I think, on centering on the back more than I should. So I'm going to guess a 9. Ah, Jim at 10. Had just enough to uh, survive to be a 10. Okay, we'll stop there. We'll do a part 4, and I'll do my top 3 at the end of that video of my top three favorite cards from this order. All right, later.